welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here and also thank you to all of the new subscribers that I've been getting. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone watching my videos and commenting. Also, if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to comment them down below. A lot of times, um, well, I do answer everyone's questions, but sometimes I will, if I have questions in the comments, I'll usually talk about it in the next video sometimes. So before I start today's video, I am going to let you guys know, someone had asked about exercise, if I'm exercising. So my first two weeks, I wasn't, I wasn't clear to exercise. I did take like, I think like two walks, like six houses up the street and I turned around because I was like super lethargic and tired and lightheaded and everything like that. And I wasn't really eating a lot the first two weeks, so I didn't want to like overdo it, but... The start of week three, which I started last Wednesday, or technically Thursday, I started on soft food slash pureed foods, and I have been walking. So I've been doing almost every day. I, th I know I didn't go out. I think it was Sunday I didn't go out, and I'm not doing it today. But I've been walking mostly every day, at least one mile. But anywhere between one to two miles and i live in a neighborhood so i just circle that a couple times and that hits if i do it twice it's 1.5 miles so that's all i've been doing i'm not cleared to like do anything else like lift weights or i have a peloton bike i'm not cleared to do that so today i'm filming what i eat in a day three weeks post-op from my gastric sleeve surgery and for like water wise, I'm not going to show that when I drink water, but I have to. I mean, maybe I will because I'm going to show you what I use in my water, but um, I have to or I'm supposed to hit a goal of 64 fluid ounces of water a day and then they want me to hit 70 grams of protein. So yeah, and as the weeks go on, the more you are able to intake. So come along with me and I will show you what I eat. So for breakfast, I'm going to be doing a scrambled egg. So let me get that out. So for breakfast, I'm having one scrambled egg. I literally just take one egg, crack it into a bowl, pour like the tiniest bit of milk into it. And then I just scramble it in a pan. So it's pretty simple. And then I put salt and pepper on it. And that's what I have for breakfast. So I will show you that in the next clip. supposed to be on the counter you want to give him a kiss yeah. oh. <laughs> ice cream you want to give a kiss too <laughs> he's a little shy So I'm going to eat this one egg. That's my cat meowing. So I'm going to eat the one egg. It's scrambled and it took like less than five minutes to make. I was never a big scrambled eggs person before. I'm like a big fan now. I don't know why. I just have one scrambled egg for breakfast in the morning because it takes less than five minutes to cook. And it's just easy. And then... My work lunch is at 11.30, so I'll come back and show you what I eat at that point. But I will see you in the next clip. 
Okay, I am about to take my meds. I'm supposed to take these earlier, I think, but... So I take two multivitamins a day, and it's this brand, because my nutritionist told me to take that. And then I also take Lexapro for uh, mental health. <laughs> so there's that. I also take two 500 milligram chewables of calcium a day, but that's at lunch and dinner. So that is different time, but I'll show you what those look like when that time comes. So I'm going to take these and then I'll be back when I have lunch. Hi, I am back. So it is currently 1144 and I'm going to have lunch. I think I'm just going to have two ounces of chicken salad for lunch. I do have a food scale. I measure everything that I eat besides eggs because I just make one egg and an egg typically is under two ounces. So I'm going to get the chicken salad. This is the chicken salad I eat. It's really good. It settles really well. I need a bowl. I need to get paper bowls or like some, I don't, or like paper plates because I go through bowls an insane amount. So I'm going to have this. Let me get my calcium pills. One sec. Okay, my calcium, they're not pills. They are soft chews. They look like this. They're in the flavor watermelon. They're, they don't taste bad at all. They actually taste pretty good. And they're these little tiny things. but I have them with my lunch and I'm supposed to take them two to four afters. I have my multivitamin. When did I have my multivitamin? I'm gonna eat it now. I don't even know when I have my multivitamin. Um, okay, I'm gonna measure this out. I'll be back. So this is the chicken salad. This is the amount I can eat at one sitting. Honestly, I think I can eat a little bit more. But I was told to only have two ounces at a time. So that's what I do. And I try to have something every two to three hours. Doesn't happen like that every single day. But I'll end up having this and my 500 milligrams of calcium. And then probably around... It's almost 12 right now so probably around like 2 33 o'clock i'll make a protein shake so i'll come back to you guys at that point okay so i am back it is two obviously i'm back i just turned the camera off it's 2 27 so i'm gonna make a protein shake shrake imagine if i knew how to talk this milk smells but it doesn't smell bad but it like you know the smell of milk where it just like Okay, it kind of smells sour. Fuck. I can't do a protein shake with water. I'm going to have to. I'm going to need to dump this. I'm going to do it with water, and I don't like doing it with water, but I'm going to have to dump this, and then I'm going to get new milk. I'm going to start buying just half a gallon of milk at a time because we don't drink enough milk for it to last us. And it says it's good through the July, but it, like, smells funny. Just my, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna use this milk. It says July 4th. Oh, no, but it smells. It's like smelling my fridge. So I'm gonna use water instead to do this. Do I still smell it in the fridge? Let me see. I could smell something in the fridge. I didn't know what it was. No, I can't. It was the milk. Oh, shoot. I haven't gotten sick from it. But... Now that I just said that, I probably will. So we're just gonna dump that down the drain. All 
I don't know. I don't want to like test anything out. I have a wax appointment today after work, so I'm not trying to be sick. And we'll just we'll just do water. Even though I don't want to do water. Alright, I will film me making my protein shake. Um and I'll show you what I used in the video. I'll be back. What I do want to point out is I bought this unflavored protein powder because my, oh my gosh, my nutritionist recommended it. I don't like it and maybe it's because I try to mix it with my water, but it was disgusting, but I really want to try to make use of it. Is there something, if someone uses that brand... Tell me what I can mix it with that's not water because it says it's tasteless, which, sorry, not tasteless, like no flavor, which is like the same thing, but I don't think it's like a taste I taste. It's just like the texture because I tried to mix it in my yogurt last night, obviously a stupid freaking idea, and it was disgusting. It's so gross. So if you have any advice... Please let me know because I typically have my regular protein powder, which is chocolate peanut butter that I showed you, but I want to get that in too eventually because I want to like get my protein in and I usually can if I have a yogurt, like a Greek yogurt, I usually get my protein in taken. Fine. There's no issue. But if you have any advice on what I can mix that with, please let me know. Sorry if my camera's moving everywhere. Oh, my mic thing was kind of off. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm having right now as like a afternoon snack. I'll do a taste test here. I just... Mm -mm. Uh, I'm just gonna have to force myself to drink it. I don't like it with water. I really don't. So, I'm a little upset. But please tell me because I've been using fat free milk for my other protein. Maybe I could try it with fat free milk, but then I feel like I'm still going to taste it. So it's like, do I just suck it up and chug it, which I can't really chug, or give me an idea? I guess I could make like a smoothie and put it in, but I don't really. I like smoothies, but I don't really have them. It's kind of an inconvenient thing for me to make unless it's like a weekend. So, help me out. Let me know. I'll be back when I eat again, which will probably not be until dinner time. Actually, I might have a yogurt before I leave for my appointment. So, yeah. I might do that. We'll see. But I will follow up with you when I have something else that I eat. So, so I'm going to have my light and thick greek banana creamy yogurt now it's 6 30. i'm gonna have that i just got my eyebrows waxed so they're all like red and stuff but i'm gonna eat this and then i will come back when i have my dinner in like a little bit i i was gonna eat dinner now but i'm just gonna have yogurt so okay i'm back it is 7 30 and i'm gonna have dinner so i will show you what i'm gonna have so I'm going to have these turkey meatballs. I'm going to make three of them. I haven't had these yet, so fingers crossed that they taste good. But I'm going to cook three of these in the microwave. <laughs> I don't know if that's disgusting, but that's what I'm going to do. And because it says you can cook them in the microwave. So that's what I'm going to do. But... Um, 
I will show you what they look like. Also, three meatballs. So each meatball is an ounce and it's 140 calories in three altogether. Five grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, which isn't bad at all. Actually, it's a pretty good protein source. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I kind of want to taste test these well on camera because I've never, okay, I've had turkey meatballs, but I've never had them like dry. Oh wait, I made three and I should only have two. Whatever. I only have, I'll just eat these really slow. So here you go. really good I'm like a huge fan of turkey meatballs but I thought I would need like a sauce on them I can't do sauces right now my nutritionist said it may not sit well with my stomach so I'm skipping out on the sauce because I just don't want to be sick but these are good I usually get the other brand of turkey meatballs and I don't remember the name but I just got the store brand this time because that's all they had but I'm gonna eat these um, and then I might eat before bed if it anything I might be a little bit more chicken salad because but I might not because these might actually fill me up and I might just have water because it's already 7 30 so I'll check in if I do okay so it is actually 8 17 p.m. I'm gonna call it a day with my food I made three of those turkey meatballs and there are one ounce each and I was told only to have two ounces per meal but I ate them really, really slowly, so I'm like full, like I'm content, like I can't eat more. So I'm just gonna honestly focus on my water intake. I have to try to drink two more before bed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, if you hear something, it's my dog. What are you doing, Bailey? What are you doing? Are you a good boy? Yeah? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I love you. Mm. Okay. Oh, you smell. You smell. Ew. <laughs> He's so happy right now, but he has the worst. The worst. The worst. Um, I don't know if it's an allergy or what, but all he does is itch, and he's been to the vet like multiple times for it. But I want to. The sun setting, by the way. That's why it kind of looks different. Let me show you the sky. almost like a pink sky okay I'm gonna bring up my calories and what I ate today so you guys know kind of like walk through it really quick before I end the video so in total today I've had 638 calories I had 71 grams of protein 20 um, I'm gonna count net carbs I had 21 net carbs and then for like normal carbs I had 22 it's like same thing what I ate had altogether today 11 grams of sugar. Obviously, like almost everything has some type of sugar in it. I had one gram of fiber and 31 grams of fat. My goal is to have at least 70 grams of protein. I hit 71. And then four um, and then 64 ounces of fluids, like water, or I can have like zero Gatorade or whatnot. So that's not that bad I literally ate what I showed you today and then I'm about to be done with my second water bottle and then I just have to try to do two more before bed I'll probably not go to bed till like 11 or 10 30 maybe sooner I'm not that tired so sorry if today was kind of like boring or whatnot I did work I am tired so I'm not as awake or upbeat as I would be if I were um, like on a weekend but I also get really tired pretty quickly 
because I'm not intaking as much. Yesterday I had a thousand calories. I don't, I don't know how, but actually I do know how. I think it's because I waited too long to eat between meals. So like my hunger kind of, I, I don't know if it's like hunger or like the want for food, but that's why I like doing these videos because it kind of keeps me on track of what I am eating. And to have a thousand calories isn't bad. I just could have probably had less. I don't know. Because we are not, we don't really, my nutritionist doesn't give me like a set calorie intake. But I just kind of eat every couple hours. And then I usually like full throughout it. Let's see, I'm burping. Because I just had all, all those smart meatballs. Um, let me see. I don't think there's anything else to go over. Also, I have a zit on my nose. You've probably seen it this entire video. Don't know how to get rid of it, so it's just going to have to sit there until it eventually goes away. Oh, good. My parents went out to dinner and left my dog outside. That's why. When I came out back, I'm like, they left an hour ago. I'm going to text my mom and tell her she left the dog outside. She's going to feel bad. Hey, did you know that you left Bailey outside? I just texted her. But he's fine. It's really nice out, actually. It's, it says it's 72, which actually is comfortable. He loves being outside, to be honest. I'm going to try to go over to him and see if... Whoa, I almost just fell. Ready? Hi, buddy. Hi, you want to close out the vlog with me? Or the... What I eat in a day? You want to close it out? You want to say, hey. No, say, ready? Sit. Can you sit? <gasps> ready? Say, hey. No, 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 no. Sorry, my dog has uh, ADHD. He has the uh, he has the itch syndrome. But I'm gonna close out today's video here. Um, oh, he wants to go in. But don't forget to sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any questions you have or any requests for videos. I will say most of my videos will probably be related to my surgery, but I might be doing um, some other videos mixed in, like vlogs or like if I order something, I want to do a review on it, things like that. But a lot of them are going to be surgery related because this is like a whole new life for me and, you know, tracking my progress and everything. On, I'm literally out of breath, tracking my progress and everything on YouTube. It has, it gives me something to motivate me, but also gives me something to look back on. So, but don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. They're listed in the description box below. And I think that's it. He wants to go inside. All right, I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye.